Welcome to the European Parliamentary Research Service podcast on medical breakthroughs to renew our cells. The story of Prometheus' immortal liver has always fascinated experts in regenerative medicine all around the world. But as techniques to help our body restore damaged tissue and organs continue to evolve and become more accessible, myth and reality could be closer than we think. Stay with us. Regenerative medicine is an interdisciplinary field that applies engineering and life science techniques to restore tissues and organs damaged by age, disease or trauma, as well as those with congenital defects. The regeneration of body parts is a rather common phenomenon in nature. A salamander, for example, can regrow a lost tail to full length in a matter of days. And humans have this ability as well, albeit much more limited, and we lose it over the years. But promising data gives reason to believe that regenerative medicine could soon be used across a wide array of organs and contexts, helping us heal wounds, fix cardiovascular diseases and traumas, and even treat cancer. So how does it work? Well, there are several ways of regenerating organs and healthy tissue. One of them is to strip organs of their cells before transplantation to recellularize them with cells from the recipient just before the transplant, which helps minimize the risk of rejection. Other approaches to regenerate the development of organs are the use of scaffolds from natural or synthetic materials that allow for a gradual replacement of the scaffold by new cells, or the relatively new self-assembly approach. This is a scaffold-free method based on previously cultured cell sheets, which are implanted into a patient to regenerate the damaged tissue. Now, regardless of the technique used, for new tissue to grow in a human body, it is essential that new blood vessels are formed. This is called vascularization, and here too, there are several ways in which modern science can exploit the body's own processes to trigger the development of new blood vessels. Another promising approach is engineering the immune system so that it can help us heal wounds faster, increase the tolerance to grafts, fight infectious diseases and, yes, even cancer. And then, of course, there's stem cells, and they hold tremendous promise. Human embryonic stem cells are the body's master cells, capable of producing any cell or tissue the body needs to repair itself. Now, just imagine what this means for patients of currently incurable diseases, such as Parkinson's. But their use has divided the international community, even European countries. Although the EU regulates the medical use of stem cells, research usage is unregulated, and European governments have taken different positions in this debate. What's clear is that there are issues to be considered, issues related to ethics, to patient safety, to potential abuse, to accessibility, you name it. But if Europe wants to be an actor in this emerging field, it had better start addressing these challenges, and soon. You're listening to the European Parliamentary Research Service podcasts.